Welcome to my custom content showcase where I'll be going over my own creations, some better than others. In terms of style, I would say that my content is more or less Maxis match, and you should be able to find download links in the video description. And if you have any problems with any of these, don't hesitate to give me a shout. I hope you enjoy my stuff. Also, if you like any of the Sims modeling the clothes, hair and accessories in my videos, you should be able to find them in my online gallery. And if you can't find them, uh, it means that I haven't uploaded them yet and they should be available soon. In this episode, I'm going to show these three hairs. And the first one is called uh, Top Not Retextured. And it looks like this. And it is actually my first ever uh, mesh, so it is far from perfect, uh, but I guess uh, it's not that bad. And it has uh, a couple different swatches and also a custom thumbnail as you can see here. So the first swatch is the braided uh, style in black and then we have the same one in red. And then there's another black one, but this one has a uh, different type of braids in it. They're kind of soft and wavy. And this was a sort of extra swatch that I decided to just add on. And then there's also this dark blue uh, braided one. And a, a kind of yellow brown one, which to be fair doesn't look that good on her, but uh, I have tested it with uh, uh, sims with slightly lighter skin tones and I thought it looked alright so that is why I decided to add it in there. Um, there is an issue with this hair that I know of and it's a minor one but um, for some reason these colours uh, despite being assigned um, to uh, hair colours do not actually correspond with them so for instance if I was to choose uh, a random uh, hair made by EA and the red swatch, which also exists on this hair, and then choose this hair, it changes to black. Even though I have a red here, I don't know why, it's not really a big deal, but it's a bit of a, I guess it's a bit of an annoyance. Um, moving on, I have this uh, second hair, and it is called Improved Afro. And it also has a custom thumbnail and it is an, uh, a mesh edit of the base game afro which I'm going to show you just for comparison so that is mine a bit more up close and this is the EA one so you can see uh, all I did was make it a little bit bigger and give it a bit more shape so it's not just a big ball of something and this one comes in all of the uh, base game colors which I'm going to go through so that's the improved afro and uh, it is hat compatible just use a hat. So is this one actually, I should have mentioned that. There you go. And lastly we have this third hair. It is called a uh, knot with bangs. I'm sorry for the lag. And uh, it has these lovely bangs and a kind of messy bun on top. I use the term messy loosely because um, with EA clay hairs there's not much room for messiness to be fair um, and it does not come with a custom uh, thumbnail but it comes in all of the base game colors which I'm also going to go through Oops, 
And as the other two hairs, it is also a uh, hot compatible. So there we go, that's uh, three of my hairs. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you uh, like these as well and maybe even consider downloading some uh, and um, I'll see you later.